band started in 2003. Uh, we kind of like uh, met each other in the music scene, I guess. Uh, I started it with David and then uh, met Fizol and uh, Robin Ame and Isan. And finally, Ash is helping us out now. So it's been like uh, seven, uh, five years. Five years they've been playing the band, and uh, the goal of the band is to play music. We love to play music, I guess. That's the only thing that we like. Uh. <laughs> and and besides working, uh, we all work. So you know, most people ask why the EP took so long, blah blah blah. But you know, we all got day jobs. We're not willing to give that up for music yet, like in this country at least. It's a collective of songs that we have been writing since 2003, and uh, uh, we put it into a CD called Secret Episodes. Um, well. Uh, so, the CD has about seven songs. Uh, most people ask why seven songs, not twenty, not thirty. I guess like Isan always says, it's like quality, not quantity, right? What we are trying to make with that our EP secret episodes is something that is uh, ten years from now, when you listen, it still sounds fresh and current. That's what we are trying to achieve. Most important is obviously heart and soul. I mean, face the fact we live in Malaysia, we are influenced by Malaysian sounds, we listen to overseas bands and stuff like that, you know. I mean, if you name drop, we'll take tomorrow, I guess. But I think that uh, we're influenced by each other, by friends around us, other bands in the scene, I guess that's, that's what drives us, I guess. Well, with current current uh, music climate at, as it is, it's better better to strike out on our own. Even though it's much more harder in terms of logistic resources, but it's much more better because you're in control of your own destiny. And then, uh, secondly, you can plan what you want without any outside interference. It's just the band dictating the terms. And thirdly, uh, why we we choose to strike on our own is because. Technology has enabled us to do so. So to say, uh, I think we current, currently we have MySpace, we have our own website. So through these channels, we can reach out to the masses and it doesn't cost us a bomb uh, to do that. So that's why it's, we, are, we are tracking out on our own with this EP. They will kill us all. Mainly most of us, um, we don't put up a show or I mean, going on stage like a fool or something like that. You know? As uh, I mean, mainly for the band, for all of us, it's just to play and to express ourselves. And you, you will be expecting a very energetic set where everyone will be like throwing their guitars round and round and not physically throwing, you know. It's, um, no, it's just expression, you know. It's plain expression and pure fun and straight up rock and roll. I mean, like it's like our live shows. I would say is this, like, you know, like we're not trying to be anything. We just, I think it's like honestly, I think it's just release really of stress. You know, we're on stage, it's just really stress. To tell you the truth, man, you know, uh, last two, three years ago, you know, even the 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 name of our band, right, David Kula Soul, I think, it's because we felt there was no hope in the scene. We always just want to do our own thing and stuff. But the past three years, right, I'm amazed, and I take back whatever I said three years ago that the scene's going to diminish or whatever. Right? There is a local scene, man. You know, because yeah, because we are playing shows. You know, we are playing shows. There are people who are buying the CD. I think the local scene, cliche as it sounds, is growing. It's uh, it's going to expand. Hopefully, it'll blow the house down. But again, as I always say, every time I speak about this, is like if nobody up there supports and helps out our music and our bands, and there is no proper center or place to play and stuff, right? Then whatever we have will just deteriorate and just like go missing. You know, I guess. Uh, we need support, like, constant support. Like. It's not about having a scene, it's about sustaining a scene is important. Where, where do our band fit in the overall scene is, uh, I would say, uh, we're trying to do something original. So far, we, the response we've got is that we are 
a band that cannot be pigeonholed sounding like this band or this band. It's hard to you know, pigeonhole us. So by that, we hope to set an example to the bands that you can strike out on your own even though this is Malaysia, but it doesn't mean you cannot do original stuff. The launching party is coming out on this February 6th. It'll be held at Zook, uh, Boy Sonic. And um, we'll be writing, you know, a uh, few new songs. So probably this time it won't take three years to, you know, record a new album.